You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Nick Lentz. You ready to fight? Play call. Ready. Here we go! Tonight's main event of the evening is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. White trunks for Collins, black trunks for Lentz. Nice hook. He's able to parry the strike. Good hands, really mixing things up. Precise jab by Collins. Good takedown defense. Looking for a takedown. Oh, and he's down! And he connects with the axe kicks. And back up. Oh, Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. He connects with the straight. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Showing that punch. Nice left, left kick to the body. Collard with the overhand. Trying to get a single. Collard gets the takedown early. In full guard. Oh, he sweeps. Look at his position now. Side control. Nicely done. Wow, quick movement on the ground. Now made a good, oh, good elbow. elbow. Very nice. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble. Lentz get goes up. into north-south. Side control. He postures up. Lentz with a solid right. Just over three now. Kind of amazed the referee hasn't decided to stand these guys up. Here's a little piece of trivia for folks who don't know. The reason why you're not allowed to do a downward elbow, 12 to 6, is because when they first brought mixed martial arts to athletic commissions, the people on the commission said, well, you can't let someone do that. I saw people break bricks with that on ESPN. <laughs> In reality, there's really very little difference between a downward elbow or a 45-degree elbow or, or what have you. Good work from the top. That left eye, Mike, is starting to look nasty. Looking for the arm bar, looking for the finish. He's in full mount here. He's looking for the arm bar. First thing he wants to do is he wants to secure the arm, tie it up, then shift his hips forward, rotate the hips, throw his leg across his face. Then he wants to... And he's out. Wow, that arm was in deep. Full guard. Nice sweep. He's in full guard. Excellent work from the bottom by Collin. He Nicely done. Guard. And now he's back in full guard. Trying to take the back here. You're in half guard, you're all good there. Tags him. Sweep. Inside control. Transitions to full guard. He postures into place. He's back up to his feet. Looking for the takedown. Lentz with a solid takedown. One minute on the clock here in round one. Five seconds on the clock in the round. He Big left, the huge left. He is taking some brutal ground and pound here. Transitions back to full guard. Oh, big shot from the top. Looking to pass. He passes again into half guard. 
15 seconds. Lentz is back in half guard. Final seconds of the first round. Lentz oh, gets it to half guard. Nice pass. Round one is in the books. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's see if we can get a better look at that from another angle. And let's see if we can get a better look at that from this angle. All right, take a seat, bud. Deep breath, in. breathe. In through that nose, out through that mouth. All right, here's some water. And listen, your kicks are working awesome, all right? He has no answer for you. Oh, man. Carly getting a set for round two. Joe, that was a big rap. Nick Lentz's submission attempt nearly finished the fight. Nearly finished the fight with that submission attempt. It was very close. Wow, what a great job mixing things up. Good kick to the leg of his opponent. Nice shot. Landed a couple good shots here. Nice brawl. Good punch. The swelling on his eyes is starting to get really bad. Checked. He scores with the leg kick. Very nice kicks. Caught the leg. And he hits the takedown. He moves from full guard to half guard now. He's on top again. Damn Huge left, left hand. hand. Big right hand. Him with the right hand. Oh! Look at this. He's out of it. Color gets side control. He's looking to pass. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Both hooks in. Nice sweep. He's in full guard. Pollard's looking to advance to half guard. Got his hips well enough to get back to half guard. And he got back to guard. And back to his feet. Big roundhouse kick. And again, he's back into side control. And now he's working from full mount. Strong elbow to the head by Lentz. He's posturing up here. That bruise on his torso is getting really nasty. He's trying to isolate that arm here. He's in full mount here, and he's looking for the arm bar. What he wants And he got it out. Good elbow by Lentz. Caught him with the right. Man, he's got the reversal. He keeps busy from the bottom. Trying to get to side control there. Now falls back into guard. That's a clean left hand. And back up again. Good leg kick. Knee to the body here. Can't connect with the jab. 
strong counter jab by Carl. Nice jab. Oh, good combination. He's keeping busy here, connecting with a lot of punches. Oh, he lands the roundhouse for the body. Straight punch gets through. Clay Collins got to do a much better job of utilizing his reach advantage. He's certainly not utilizing his reach advantage or his distance to the best of his abilities. And a nice one-two with the right and the left. Lentz's eyes looking really swollen there. You've got to wonder whether or not it's actually a fracture order. Nice job slipping the punch. Kick lands. Cullen gets the takedown, waiting around. 20 seconds. Into half guard again. Man, he's doing some great damage from inside his opponent's guard. Back to the guard position. Postures up. Round number two complete. There's a nice leg kick. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. Incredible highlights in that round. The lovely Jenny here tonight in Montreal, Quebec. Third round. Joe, that last round was brutal. Nick Lentz's leg kicks were lethal. Nasty leg kicks in that round. Excellent technique, beautiful timing. Leg kick. Nice work on the counter. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here, keeping it unpredictable. Color gets hit with the kick. Good connection with the straight by Lentz. Nice job defensively, and again, a very accurate counter. First back. Now he's got the hooks in, Joe. Nice transition to the top. Lentz has got a bruise starting to show up on the right side of his body. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Color gets it back in his guard. He's back up. He avoided damage, blocking the big kick. Both men landing in that exchange. Tries for a low single. He's got a guillotine. Joe once again looking for those counter strikes. He's got his hands locked together, Mike. This is a tight guillotine here. Wow. That's out. Very nicely done. Side control. There he goes, stand up. Solid jab by Collin. Nick Lentz is continuing to punish that wounded eye. And you can see that the swelling continues to get worse and worse. He's absolutely targeting that eye. You can clearly see, and he's landing combinations on it repeatedly. Great defense. Showing the punch. Strong jab by Collin. He lands a clean combination. Cut. Turning into an all-out slugfest. Oh, he's landing. Oh! That hurt him. He just rocked him with that hammer fist. Oh, he's hurt. That's it. It's That's all it. over. The, the fight is it over. It's all over. Tremendous TKO. Great stoppage by the referee. Time now for our fight replay. Let's take one more look at the end of the fight here. This is a vicious series of strikes, ground and pound, that lead up to the TKO. We can see it here on a different angle. There are some big shots getting through here. Vicious ground and pound combination that leads to the TKO. And let's check that out from a different angle. All right, here's Bruce Buffer with the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 19 seconds of round number three. We're playing the winner by TKO, Cassius Clay Collins.
Play Collar. Victorious by TKO.